Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been here for a while. Tonight's just a quick update and hopefully I'll be able to host more often. Here, see back there says hello. And she is watching out the door because Mr. Apple just walked out the door and her heart is just kathumping. She has a crush on him. Anyway, so yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, sit down, pull up a chair, it's going to be a quick chat, and we'll get started here in a minute. So first, let me apologize for not being here for a long time. I have been in an odd mental space. It's been a very interesting beginning of the year. Not bad necessarily, although we did have some roller coaster things go on, but it's just been incredibly, I have been incredibly reticent, um, insular, introverted, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I have, well, I mean, to begin with, the tree in our yard came down in January partially. And yeah, we actually had the rest of it removed to the tune of $1,200. And then we had to have some stuff planted in its place that won't tear down the power lines. And all of a sudden done, that storm cost us about $3,000, which was not, I mean, we had it, but... I'd rather not pull that out of savings and stuff. You know, I'd rather not watch savings go because of it. Anyway, so we got the tree taken down and we had some Irish U planted. Y-E-U. Y-E-W, not E-W-E. -E. Trees, not sheep. Um, but we had some... Irish U planted in its place, so we will have a hedge line that won't take down the power lines. There goes Kiersey. The girls are so big. Ellie is back there. I can see she's she's uh, in the kitty condo in my office. Hold on. There, you can see her a bit better. Hey, Ellie. You want to come say hi? Come say hi. It's like, I'm busy, I'm tired. So that happened. Um, and it's all taken care of. We still have to have a bit of the roof patched, I believe. And um, that will come later on this year. So what else? Oh, I had some pressing family issues go on that were extremely difficult to deal with. And it was a no-win situation, but it's for the most part done, I suppose, right now. And it is what it is. Um, so that went on. On the plus side, I have been writing books I love this year. So I've been enjoying what I've been writing, except with Cursed Web, I had to push the release date back a bit because I started it a little too early and I got off on the wrong fork in the road with part of it and um, I deleted 20,000 words last night and I need to rewrite, which I will do. So it does have a new release date, but I want it to be right. I don't want it to just be done. So uh, yeah, I'm back in KU as you probably know. And thank goodness things are looking up a bit. Um, enough to tell me that I made the right decision to go back in. So read, read, read to your heart's content if you're in KU. And you can still buy them off of Amazon. So, you know, all good. Um, hmm. I got my new Kanban board set up in the background. You can see the whiteboard with all the sticky notes on it. I've got a lot to do yet this quarter, but it shall get done. 
Um, I am working on my Patreon, and I'm very pleased that people seem to be enjoying it over there. If you'd like to support me and my work in that manner, you will find the link in the description box below. Sam and I are coming up on our 30th wedding anniversary, and that will be May 1st. And yeah, 30 years. It's amazing. And it doesn't seem like 30 years. It, it went by in the blink of an eye. And yet it seems like we've been together forever in other ways. So yeah, happy, 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 joy, joy. I have got Cursed Web and Solstice Web up for pre-order. And you'll be happy to know there will be more Moonshadow Bay books after that. They are still selling quite well, and that means I can continue the series. I will be working on Fractured Flowers after I finish Cursed Web, which will be the third Night Queen book, and how that and the first two books do will determine on whether that series goes much further than that. I am going to start a new series this year called Starwood Hollow. Uh, it's going to be a dark paranormal romance um, slash contemporary fantasy series. And it stars Ephira, kind of like Elvira, but Ephira. And uh, she's a witch and she has a dragonette named Fancy Pants. And it will have some humor in it, but it will definitely be steamier than some of my other series. Oh, let's see what else. I bought myself a new amber pendant, and this is uh, garnet beads, and I think they are so pretty together. So, yeah, uh, I've been basically a recluse, and that's continuing. Uh, still can't go anywhere. I mean, I can go to my hair appointment and my nail appointment because I trust my hair lady and my nail lady, and they are both extremely conscientious about masking up and making sure that nobody comes near me while I'm in there. Uh, so I get to at least go there. My MCAS has been, it was doing much better for a while, then when I had to deal with some family crap, um, it got worse because of the stress. And now I'm starting to pull it back into I'm trying to get it back out of the flare that it had started to go into. But overall, I'm feeling fairly good. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. And I guess that's about it for now. Join me on Patreon or hang out at my blog if you want. Um, I don't pop into my Facebook group much. My VA runs that, but it's there. And uh, I'm trying to focus mostly on, on my Patreon and my blog. So, and here, you know, I, I like answering comments here. So I will talk to you later and I'm going to get busy. I've got things to do. I've got words to write that I had to delete, so I will, I will be seeing you later.